All right, guys, weekly stimulus for the week of April 22nd through the 28th. Um, remember, guys, we have a competition uh, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Um, we're looking for volunteers. And we still have some spots, too, as well, for you guys that are interested in competing. So talk to your coaches, and uh, we can find your partner, worst case. Monday. Monday is quarterfinals event number two. I suggest most of you guys stay home for this one. If you've signed up already and you hear the stimulus, um, take yourself out of class. Today is is not for the faint of heart. This is going to be one of the harder workouts that you've done all year. It's brutal. It's a mental grind. It is three rounds of 50 wall ball, 50 burpee box jump over. You can do this any way you want on the burpee prior to the jump over, but you must step down off of the box. So you can face the box like we traditionally do. You can side uh, face sideways, uh, triangular, whatever you want to do. Your chest hits the ground. You jump up to the box. You step down. If you're stepping up to the box and not jumping, you will still step over the other side. All right. Three rounds. Tuesday. Tuesday is a run, three barbell movement. So the deadlift weights are light. It's uh, uh, it's hang power clean, deadlift, and shoulder to over its head. So it's three rounds. Run, 15 deadlift. Run, 15 power clean, hang power. Run, 15 shoulder to overhead. When you're picking a weight like this, you need to pick a weight that you're comfortable moving the shoulder to overhead. There will be no weight changes. You will pick one weight. If you need to scale the runs, scale it to 300. Think of this workout like DT. So whatever weight you use for the shoulder and overhead is the weight you'll use for the deadlift. You'll just move a little faster on that, and that is fine. All right? Wednesday. Wednesday has a, a two-part workout. It's an AMRAP for 14 minutes, eight thrusters, 40 double-unders, Two bar muscle up or eight chest to bar or regular pull ups. If you're not doing any hanging pull ups from the bar, you'll do 10 jumping chest to bar pull ups to get that extra pull. You'll take a five minute rest. You have a three round for time, 15 minute cap of 20 alternating dumbbell snatches and 15 toe to bar or 20 knees to chest. So you do the 14 minute AMRAP, all right, at the 14 minute mark. You take a five minute break, then you do toe to bar and you do dumbbell snatch, all right, for three rounds. That has a 15 minute cap on it, all right? Remember guys, the caps are set up, all right, to get you to understand that the work needs to be done in a specific time frame. okay? So if you're constantly getting capped on some of these workouts, you need to start making adjustments with the weights or the volumes. So talk to the coach, you know, and say, hey, listen, 20 dumbbell snatches is, is not a lot, but if you use a 35, it's gonna get hard. Use a 30, all right? Figure out how you can get through the workout within the time frame. The first AMRAP, again, use whatever weight you want. You're only gonna get so far, but the second one is a round for time. You have four to 15 minutes to do it. So make adjustments, all right, so that you can go ahead, <clears throat> excuse me, so that you can go ahead and finish the workout under the time frame, all right? All right, Thursday. Third, Thursday is quarterfinal event number one. This is a very fight gone bad format, similar format to fight gone bad. What we're going to do is we're going to do the snatch warm up that we did prior uh, during uh, the uh, snatch lifting program. After that, you'll take a three minute break, and heat one will start. It's 16 total minutes. Minute one. Max rep snatches at whatever weight you're using. Minute two, max rep calories. Minute three, double dumbbell farmers hold step ups at a 20 inch box for everybody. Minute four is a rest. Large classes, you will stagger people by two minutes. That means heat one will do the snatches, then they'll do the row. When the first heat moves to the dumbbell step ups, heat two starts on the snatches and you'll never back up, all right? Coaches, I suggest you partner people up that are using a similar weight, all right? But the nice thing about the two-minute uh, 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 buffer 
is that during the rest minute, the other person will be done with the snatches. So if you do need to make a weight change, you'll have the one minute to do that, all right? The clock will not break between movements. It's a running clock, all right? We'll run it on the EMOM, but you can move from the snatches to get into the rower, maybe at the 50 second mark. I do suggest that is a good idea. After that, you'll rest, um, uh, rest three minutes. Then five rounds, you'll get into an every two minute, 300 meter interval runs. So you'll run 300 meters every two minutes. If you get that done in a minute, time remaining is your break. All right, nice thing about this too, it, it is on a two minute clock. So once you go ahead and get heat number one, they take the three minutes, the next heat starts, the other heat is two minutes behind. So really coaches in a big class, you're gonna run six intervals. Heat one is gonna do interval one through five. Heat two will do interval two through six on the runs, all right? If you need to scale the runs, scale them to 200. And again, partner people up that are gonna use a similar weight. It's gonna make it easier for you, all right? We'll have that gym set up specifically um, uh, for that workout, all right? That's Thursday. Friday, back squat. Every four minutes for four sets. We're on six reps. Percentages are up a little bit. You guys that don't have a one rep max, which might be a lot of you, continue to start writing these numbers down and figure out weights that feel comfortable. We did 10 first week. We did eight last week. We're down to six. So the weights should be going up. All right. Uh, you have your pull up, uh, strict pull up progression in between the sets, not after. You're only doing three sets. So listen, some of you guys are really strong on chest to bar pull ups. All right. You know, adjust the reps as needed. I would stay under 60 so if you guys that are monsters and can do 20, then, then by all means, go for it. We, we're, we want you to go ahead and get stronger and challenge yourself. But remember, it's only three sets. Once you're done with the last back squat, put all the equipment away, all right? Don't do any more pull-ups. We don't have the time, all right? We're going to move into a second portion. It's two rounds. It's a two-minute AMRAP. It's not an AMRAP, two minutes of work and two minutes of rest. It's three two minute AMRAPs and then a one minute break and then another round. So you have a buy-in, 15, nine on the bike, time remaining, shuttle runs, 75 crossovers, 100 double unders or 150 singles, time remaining, shuttle runs, six wall walks, time remaining, shuttle runs. So zero to two, two to four, four to six, rest a minute, do it again, all right? Coaches, I would spread people out on this workout. All right, so, you know, put some on the bike, some on the crossover, but they're all gonna bum rush the shuttle together. All right, so be careful. You don't knock in the people. We are actually gonna continue our hero workouts all the way to May 18th um, prior to us doing Murph. So keep the heroes alive. Um, Renee is seven rounds for time. We've never done this workout before. It seems, uh, I, it looks fairly new. Um, it's a 400 meter run. It's 21 walking lunges. It's 15 pull-ups. It's nine burpees. It's seven rounds. You have a 34 minute cap. You get it done under 34 minutes, great. If not, all right, you know, make adjustments so next time, okay? Again, just the runs to 300. And I would do this. As soon as I get in the door, I wouldn't walk to a specific spot to start doing my lunges. As soon as I walk in the door, I would start lunging towards where I plan on doing my pull-ups. So once I'm there, I jump up and do my pull-ups. I drop down and do my burpees away from the pull-up rig so someone else can use it. And then I get back out on the run. Sunday is Murph Prep. It's a partner workout. It has runs and chipping of Cindy. Um, so you guys that are getting ready to do Murph or gearing up for Murph this year, um, this is a good prep. Gives you a good idea of where you might be at. Also, see what the times are on some of these Murph prep workouts because it's going to give you a really good idea time frame wise on what version you're going to do for Murph this year. All right. That is our week. Good talk.